What is hardness? Well, hardness is a reading given from an instrument known as a durometer. The durometer originated from a gentleman named Albert F. Shore in the 1920s. The measurement device was used to determine the hardness of polymers, elastomers, and rubbers. As the inventor of the hardness scales, Albert named each of the scales after himself. The scales are known as the Shore scales. For soft plastics and rubbers that we will be testing today, we primarily use the Shore A and D scales, and occasionally the double aught scale. So scales and hardness. How is it that you know the hardness of an everyday item? You can see the chart where some common items fall along the scales. Notice that the scales do overlap, and that a 95 on the Shore A scale is about a 45 on the Shore D scale. Similarly, a 10 on the Shore A scale is about a 55 on the Shore double aught scale. Here at Start Thermoplastics, we follow the standard testing method for rubber property. The testing is done by placing the durometer onto a sample of material and pressing down to get a reading on the scale. Inside the durometer is where the magic happens. A small spring is used to push a little metal indenter into the surface of the material sample, and it measures how far the indenter penetrates the material. We're going to show you a typical testing method for thermoplastic elastomers. You can take an instant hardness or a 10 second hardness. In compliance with the testing method, you will need to place material that is at least a quarter of an inch thick on a smooth surface. If the material is not thick enough, it can be doubled or tripled in order to achieve the necessary thickness. The material is placed on the countertop and the durometer is pressed into the material to get a reading. As you can see here, this material, which is pretty rigid, has a hardness of 87A. In comparison, we get a reading of 30 on the D scale. For comparison, we will test a softer material. This material is showing a durometer reading of 37A. We will take it one step softer and show a material that has a reading on both the A scale as well as the double aught scale to demonstrate how the scales overlap. Here we can see that this has a durometer reading of 13A and a reading of 70 on the double aught scale. Now let's have a little fun with testing some items found in your day-to-day -day lives. Some examples being an eraser, a peep, a flying disc, and a shoe insole. We will start with an eraser that is used daily in school. The durometer of the eraser is a 64A. We know marshmallows to be very soft. Since it is so soft, we will test it on the double aught scale. The durometer of the sweet lemonade flavored marshmallow peep is a two double aught. The flying disc is made of a more rigid and very durable material, so we can expect it to give us a higher reading. This has a durometer of 93A. Shoe insoles are meant to be soft and to ease the pressure of your heels. The durometer of the shoe insole, or heel cup, is a 52 double aught. Are you curious to see the hardness of other things? Leave us a comment below.